All right, cool. Let's get on to my topic. <clears throat> yeah, what did you bring to the table beyond your love for Final Fantasy 15? Something that's not games? <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to tell you about our lord and saver, Arden Azunia. <laughs> the greatest Final Fantasy villain since Kefka. People give him crap. He's my king. I don't know if he's your king, but he's my king. <laughs> Noctis never well, got to I, be the king! I am looking forward to his DLC. Oh <laughs> he is God. getting it. We're gonna play yeah, that DLC. Best waifu. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna get inside his head. People are talking about plot holes. Let me tell you what those people didn't do. They didn't watch the five episode OVA. They didn't watch King's Glaive. I watched the Brotherhood. I watched King's Glaive. There ain't no plot holes here to be found. <laughs> I've covered them up. Oh my God. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta get that off my chest. <laughs> gotta get it off my chest. I mean, so a lot of people passionate. wish those things would have been in the game. <laughs> but I watched them all too. People don't know what they want now. They don't you know, know what actually, they want. I, I haven't actually seen King's Glaive. I keep meaning to see it, but I've never in all, seen it. In all seriousness, it's not very good. But anyway, it's... <laughs> 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 The promo is cut. Final Fantasy. I'm gonna cut that together and just put it on our YouTube. Just, just his own. I wish I had like. Is not in anything. I wish I had like recording of me doing like Macho Man voice right there with the hat, and the sunglasses, and stuff. <laughs> talking about Final Fantasy 15. I think that would be pretty awesome. But anyways, That'd be amazing. Uh, just you going off with like the mic in hand. <laughs> and then the Final Fantasy rises to the top. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hulk Hogan, you're going down. You think Final Fantasy VII's the best game? Let me tell you something here. You don't call me brother anymore. Unrelated. All right. So All right. I'm... I saw an RPG that was you play as wrestlers. Oh my god. Like tabletop. Seriously? Tabletop. Oh yeah, tabletop? I've heard of that. I've heard oh, of that. Yeah. There's a there is, there's an old yes. WWF one. Oh. There's a uh, one for Luchadors as well. Yeah. <laughs> My, my, friends my friend it. actually has that. <laughs> when my friends played the WWF one, which is apparently old, and he said that it's pretty amazing. He wants to find a copy of it, run it as a one-shot one day, and I was like, please, please do it. God, yes, that would be an amazing one-shot to do. But God, five minutes in, <laughs> here's finally my topic here. I'm sorry if you're listening on YouTube. Grinding <laughs> in video games. This is something our uh, our esteemed colleague here, Hita Tetsuo, uh, Sots is a big grop of his, so I want to call him to the stand. We're going to do some uh, interrogation here. I want to hear why he doesn't like grinding in video games. Why is it such a turnoff for him? It, so, let me clarify. Because... Uh, uh, you start with your honor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Motion okay. upheld. Sorry, restart. You son of a... No. <laughs> <laughs> Part of it is to what do you define as the grind like for me when i hear grinding in games my brain always for whatever reason goes to jrpgs and having to go fight random battles till you get high enough level so you can finally go tackle the big bad and i don't enjoy that because i guess playability topic to me it's like if you don't i love that gameplay loop I don't I really don't I don't enjoy turn-based games I have to really enjoy the story um the I've only finished a few turn-based RPGs um and they're ones that I really felt invested in the story on um Legend of Dragoon was one actually that one is one I just watched because um a good friend of mine growing up loved the game so I just watched and played the entirety of Man, it that game's so good uh, <laughs> but uh uh I just, I don't know, I, it, it just, it really is the gameplay loop, because if you go to, like, Destiny, where the grind is for the weapons, I have no problem playing a strike 500 times to try to get that gun to drop. Am I going to do it on my own? Probably not. Part of the, the fun of doing that grind is I'm just hanging out with friends while I'm doing it. So maybe that's the difference. Um, I mean, yeah, basically all, <clears throat> Destiny is set up that you're always grinding. <laughs> like, that, yeah. that's its secret. It's always and, grinding. It's a different type of grinding, though. Right. Right. And and even, like, Monster Hunter World, to make another oh, mark yeah. on that. Actually, that's more, yeah, that's more traditional yeah. RPG style. 
literally killing monsters to get a carve to hope you have the right percentage to get an item so that way you can craft items to fight bigger monsters. But it really is the gameplay loop. Like, like when I don't... I guess I don't enjoy turn-basedness when it comes to video games. I would rather have... Yeah, it's less about the grind. Control. It's more about just turn-based video games. Right, and that's and that's more what my gripe is. Um, because I don't mind... Like, I know like a lot of people talk about, like, say, in um, um, RPGs where they have to do side quests in order to be a high enough level to do the main quest. I mean, I don't... Uh, I don't I, think there's a whole lot of that actually in games. I, I I don't think so either, but I hear it complained about a lot, so I'm addressing it. Um, because a lot of times I also just love going on every single side quest, so there's that. Because again, it's about getting that story. It's about mm. hearing all these small things in the universe, seeing how everything ties together. How you, <clears> this one thing that happened on this side of the continent, this random one person still feeling the effects from. That to me, is where I'm okay to grind. Um, if it's just specifically to get a numerical advantage, so that way I have a numerical chance against a... I'm less inclined on, because it's just numbers. And if if I really want to do number crunching, I'll just go do math for fun. And who does math for fun? I mean, seriously. Um, hey, now. Hey, now. So, I don't know. That's that's just my, my two cents. Well, I have or feeling... there's a distinct progression. I think Mal and I share similar opinions, so I want to hear what Men has to see. About grinding? Ooh. Come on, Meat Man, what do you got? Uh Yeah. I mean it all <laughs> it all it all kind of depends on how it's presented or how I pick up on something that's interesting. I mean that's it's so broad. Like I know one thing I don't like, at least in MMOs, I don't like yeah, that's doing the in the leveling up for MMOs. Yep. I think that's yes. really boring and really dull. Ah, uh, but... collecting those bear asses? Yeah, I freaking love collecting those bear asses. Grinding quests in MMOs is I, the freaking they... worst thing in the world, almost. It is. Somebody had a formula out there, and I don't remember now, it's been so long, but it's called the uh, the 8Ds, and it's every, every type of quest can be associated with a word that starts with the letter D. Um, Dog defend, poop. <laughs> defend so on and so forth it was kind of like that thing kind of yeah. concept but essentially it was the eight d's you could go down the list and that would tell you what that kind of quest was when it was the staple quests but see like when you're grinding just to grind the level that's when it gets really annoying or like when you're doing a quest line that's very clearly just to get you some level ups so you can go back to the stuff that was more important than you know helping john john the hunter find his mark well, you better look through this pig poop and find these gems because they eat these like, flowers and they poop out these gems and you better collect them. I ain't doing it. it. But like, then you get uh, something like, say, you watch uh, my you car. Know, we were talking about this earlier. Bravely <laughs> yeah. Default, where yeah, you have is... the jobs, and I will literally stop playing the storyline just like you're doing right now, Obs. Yep. And you will just this, grind to th get the abilities is... on the job. Yep. Uh, this is where the topic was inspired because I've been playing Bravely <laughs> Default for like three weeks now i'm only on chapter four out of nine i'm almost i'm level 85 <laughs> i have like five jobs mastered and five of the five of the jobs for like each character i'm like oh i got the ninja i gotta master the ninja now it's always really good because you get the two-handed ability see like, like that's things i'm talking about progression though there it's not like it's just about numbers there's an actual progression that's happening oh well, like that's the that's I'll, the thing, though. It's, it's yeah, all yeah. about that presentation. That's why and, it's addictive I mean, yeah. in that Technic game. Specifically. Technically, everything is numbers in a video game. Yeah, so I mean, right, right. behind something else. Technically, you could argue that that kind of, like, the repetition of going through, like, say, Monster Hunter, because we always have to come back to that somehow. Um, <laughs> no, we're going back we... to Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Down, Obs, down. Um... <laughs> 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 Well, I mean, it's like Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter's grind is, you know, go out, kill a monster, potentially get the drop you need, craft, eventually keep killing it to get the drops you need, craft a better weapon, go kill the better monster for crap drops that you need to go better and kill better monsters. That repetition. That's, that's I love top-end MMO grinding, which is what Monster Hunter, honestly, is probably going to feel more like anyways. I like, I, like Tetz was saying, I like the grinding for gear. It, it doesn't but, matter. Like, redoing scenarios over and over again, fine. I'm not... 
I'm not I'm not a totally big fan of that at, at, like on on a personal level, but it's easier if I have friends who are just going to be, you know, we're going to be Well, yeah, that always with. makes it better. But oh, yeah. um but there's it's like what you're doing now in Braley default obs is potentially even more straightforward and dull than oh, what yeah. you could it's argue is for addictive. that um than what is the monster hunter. But even though it's you're not progressing like anything but the jobs, you're not even progressing like potentially other things along with that. You're just doing the jobs. Whereas Monster Hunter, you might be progressing other stuff while you're trying to get that gear or those pieces of equipment. I still would find the one that's technically more dull, which should be grinding just the job itself, more fun for myself than I would say uh, the one where I'm trying to continuously getting gear or drops and pieces and whatnot for it. And I think that just, again, comes back to, like, your own personal take on what is acceptable for a grind and then how it's presented. I don't like it when I go out and kill a creature for the fifth fucking time in a row and it still won't gosh damn drop its spine that I need to put on my sword so that I can get my cool new sword so that I can do just enough damage to kill off the Triceratops in the next level. God damn it! <laughs> it keeps dropping those boots. And the rogue Stop always it. gets boots. it. He always rolls. Yeah, I'm, those boots. I'm playing my feral boots. druid. Those are my boots. And that's, and that's the thing for me with for MMOs. Like <laughs> MMOs feel like it's the grind, the game. Like, and it is. It like that drops these specifically, like the, as you guys are saying, the specific boots. Whereas in Monster Hunter, it's parts. Yeah. Having use. I, I just. Like, crap, I guess. But like for me, like the reason why I like the other one better, like the one that Obs yeah. is doing right now with Bravely Default, is because at least then I know I'm going to get a cool ability guaranteed. I just have to put some time into getting that. Whereas RNG, it's like, oh, you could get it on your next drop, or you could get it in the next 20 attempts. You yeah. will never know. I don't yeah. like that set of uncertainty. I really don't. It makes it, it makes kind of trying to grind for something really annoying, really dull. It's even worse in a game that's Diablo-ish, where you start like trying to farm for a fucking weapon, and it gets random like ability drops on there. So not only do you need your gosh damn weapon to drop... But then you have to hold the abilities that you want on that weapon yeah, to drop a good example with it. Too, yeah, yeah. But Borderlands is is definitely mm. one of those ones where it's like you get this one gun that has this one ability, and you want that ability on a different gun, so you try, and it'll you'll play the whole game without yeah. getting that ability on the gun you want it on. D and D heroes. But that's, have... but that's why you don't play it for hunting for that gun as opposed to just you know playing. You know, I guess. Yeah. So, I guess, but like that's it's still a grind, and those are yeah. all different types of grinds. They're all different types of ways. Um, my grind might not be somebody else's grind, so. Oh yeah, but, yeah, as many different types of games and as many different types of gamers there are, is that's how many different types of grinds that are enjoyable to that many types of gamers. Got to watch yeah. out where you're grinding, how, and but, who you're with. <laughs> so now that now that we've gotten Tets and myself out of the way, let's what, let's yeah, hear man. what you and Mao have to say. You go I don't ahead, know why Mal. he thinks we're on the same page. Are you gonna buy? I don't know. We might not be. I don't know. We, us- some, we usually just, we have similar I don't games. On things. I just don't like if it, uh, like on, on JRPGs. I just oh. don't do the grind. Like I've never really felt a need. Uh, like oh, in Bravely Default, I don't grind out job things. I just play through the story because that's what I'm there for. Ah, so just you even, you don't even. Born. It's not even a fact of like, is there a grind that's okay to you or not? It's that you just don't. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, like MMOs, they they are built to be a grind, basically as oh, yeah. their core. Like you can't yeah. avoid it, right? Like I love Destiny One, and that was always like trying to grind out new gear. But like yeah. when it comes to like JRPGs, I'm just I play through the story, and like you know, like you know. That's all there is to it, really. Anytime there's freaking, like, equipment or stuff that gives you freaking a build, because this happened mm-hmm. to me with Final Fantasy IX, I always grind a lot in that game because I want to get my abilities off my items. It was like that for me on Tales of Berseria. I grinded a lot in that game just because I was like, oh, I got to get, I got to max out this item and max out this one. Oh, I, I mean, got a new one. Yeah, like in Tales of Berseria, I just put an, on an item and once it was, <laughs> and I was like, nope. you know, filled up, I just switched to the next one. Yeah. That being said, you want to know something that will get me to grind when I don't want to grind? Mm. The trophy on it. Mm. Get yeah, level 100. I don't do it <laughs> well, because, because it's the same thing as like Obs is just saying. It's like I've got to complete something. And again, I guess it goes back to the whole having a physical progression. But 
I don't know. Like, it's just like seeing that check mark that you, you know, I, I, don't know. I, I know that's a silly one to add, but I just, I thought it was something that needed to be addressed. Like, my favorite Dark Souls 1 was level 1. It's my favorite way to play the game. No <laughs> now ain't cash no souls. Level 1, naked, yeah. no items. Yeah. Nah, you need Fists items. That's only. the whole thing that makes it. Oh, I mean, I guess you could. That just takes forever. That's a different. I guess you're grinding out a boss at that point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dodge, punch, dodge, punch. Parry. Now you're playing Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> Chop. So, yeah, no, I mean. I'm JRPG guy, and those games always have the stigma of grinding. And oh, yeah. like usually I when I play, play, most JRPGs I play, I don't have to grind, just like you. Yeah, I can't like, Persona Five, I didn't grind. It's it's grind old ones. It's old ones. It's not most modern JRPGs. It's old ones. Play like Legend Actually, of like, Gaia, true. or like le you know, or Legend of Dragoon. I mean, no, those I've played games. those though, and I don't remember grinding a whole lot. Play Final you don't Fantasy not, one. You don't have to grind it. Like, well, I mean, like, each one's going to ask you. To, well, I guess gr a lot is relative, but I mean, you did have to do some grinding if you really wanted to not be murdered, or if you know how to play the game perfectly or really well. But they did require that you do a little bit of grinding, and that's probably the issue. Even Final Fantasy VII, there was a point in the game where I actually had to stop and do a bit of grinding because I'd gone through the story so fast that. Yeah. When I got to an area, the creatures were kicking my ass. I couldn't survive against some of them. That was the one I where was I having... just had to grind, too. Just to, I was like, I, I gotta level my materia. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, even if you don't have to do a lot of it, the very fact that you had to stop and grind, I think, was what makes the stigma with uh, a lot of well, JRPGs. Yeah, I'm just, I don't remember having to do that, I guess. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'm cutting into another I mean... promo here. This isn't Final Fantasy XV, Tom. This is Final Fantasy VIII, Tom. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> All right, no. I'm not going to cut a promo. But no, <laughs> everyone always gripes about the draw system in that game being so much of a grind. And it's honestly not near, nearly Which as system? bad as playing any other of the draw system. It's, I don't remember draw. You drawed magic out of monsters and stuff. And uh, oh. once you got to 100, you could equip it to your stats, and they got better. That's no worse grinding that. than grinding on freaking monsters to get levels, in my it, opinion. It's even faster, think... honestly. I think the problem with the draw system, and personally, I hate it, um, was that I didn't like the idea of, Meta, like, you betray me, no! I don't like the idea of having a, a stack of spells. I don't like the idea that I had to draw from things to get to those but spells. But you don't and use yes, spells. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know. You could get cards, and you could do other, other ways. Other than triple. It. You could change items and whatnot, whatever. Triple but aura. It's, I think what the problem was is that it ultimately became it was it was just needlessly meticulous and extra steps that could have just been a system like here's an item when you equip it you can now cast this spell congrats. No man, you gotta like upgrade your items and stuff. Like the <laughs> item guy, I oh, yeah. you cash in cards for gear then upgrade your items with them. Cards. Yep. Man, what helped about that game? It had like the best card game. Out of any of the Final no, Final Fantasy IX, Tetra no, Master. No, for no, 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 no. FF8 Master card game. I love Final life. Fantasy IX, but the card game in eight Triple is just, just better. Triple sucks compared to Tetra You are Master. objectively wrong, sir. <laughs> objectively. <laughs> I object. Your Honor, I would like to call to the stand clearly what is right and what's wrong. And what's right <laughs> is Tetra Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This, I should, I'm going to name the segue the episode. Instead of games, I was thinking games, games, games. I think it's just going to be segways Segway, episode, segway or, episode, or Obsidian cuts a Final Fantasy 15 promo for like 10 minutes. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and we talk about other games too. Yeah, that's been perfect. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, I think I think what partially like the reason I don't end up grinding though is I explore the maps a lot. Yeah, oh like, yeah, if you do that, that if like, you enjoy, do that, you'll save your time. Like playing like side quests and stuff. You end up grinding in that way as well. Oh my god, I'm getting OCD flashbacks oh. of Star Ocean Three, where it gave you a the percentage of how much of the map you'd filled in in the zone, oh, and I was yeah. like, I have to fill in 100. percent I can't not do it. <laughs> yeah. I have to, and you have to oh. literally like hold the thumbstick up against the wall on every edge of the stage to get it to fill out. Oh my god, I, I'm glad I don't suffer from the horrible condition yeah. that is needing to fill my map 100. percent Oh, I, yeah, I don't have quite that I, level. I like to I go everywhere, to. but I don't need it to say 100. The thing that helps me is it says 100, no. and then you can see on the map there's just that little tiny swivel <laughs> that hasn't been filled in. I can't stand Pat, that. I that spills my pain. That. He fills it. I have got to go do that. Like, All right, you're off the hook. I'm pardoning you. Full pardon. <laughs> Meta's going to jail. He's guilty. What? Book him what? now. Book what? him. 
<laughs> this is a kangaroo court. Oh. I, 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 I invoke the right of dueling. <laughs> yeah, nope, no duels for meta. Don't you know the rules? Nope, duels? I'm, ah, I forgot that clause nope, in subsection nope, B. I'm, I get the duels against my friends because they doubt my sincerity. And when I tell them Final <laughs> Fantasy 15 is the third greatest Final Fantasy game of all time. How dare they? I'm a man of honor. Oh, my God. Honor. <laughs> yes. With a U. O-U-R. Oh my god. No, Alright. Right. This, this farce has gone off, this out off long enough. Let's cut it <laughs> off here. Hello everyone and welcome to episode... This has been episode... <laughs> 39 of podcast the Final Fantasy 15. We're playing this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's come full circle. You might as well be back. We Ep play the podcast. Episode 39 of podcast the Final Fantasy 15. Your source for lightning in the realm of Final Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy 15. Arden Zunia, Sid's granddaughter, and Corleonis. Each episode of pot Final Fantasy 15. Five rings releases on. September 30th, 2016, on iTunes and SoundCloud and PS4, not PC. Now topic by topic, day by day, on Xbox One XS as well, with the full video, with the full game, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Crown Edition, releasing this summer. To catch updates about Final Fantasy 15 and no other news, give us a follow on your social media platform of choice. Listen in the description below. I'm Prince Noctis. He's Prompto. Met is the one I can't remember. And, <laughs> and you're at and, and and Pets is Ignis. Hey, man, daggers are cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Follow us on Final Fantasy, Twitter.com backslash Final Fantasy 15, Facebook.com backslash FF15 podcast. And follow Meta Stream where he plays, where he plays Final play Fantasy 15, 15 at PSO Final Fantasy 15. God. Again, I'm Prince Noctis. This has been and your podcast. podcast. Five Rings. Signing out. Good. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, God. We lost I apologize. all listeners. <laughs>